Mr. Baka. One, two, three. Boom. Hello, everyone, and how are we doing today? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do my Cerberus kills. Uh, I'm a one defense maxed out pure, and I got well over 2,000 Cerberus kills. So um, I know that many peers. Uh, which are doing Cerberus and at least the, the peers that I have spoke to and seen around they tell me that they are getting like one to two kills a trip so uh, I'm gonna show you my method uh, which I think uh, or I'm pretty sure it's the best way to do Cerberus for a peer and I'm getting uh, at least three kills a trip and that's at least but um, I uh, for, the, for the normal I get four kills a trip and if I'm lucky I get five kills a trip so that's pretty nice the first thing uh, you want to note yourself is that um, you have to you have to put away the melee because melee isn't gonna work that good against Cerberus for a pure so we're gonna use range range is the um, is the most important thing so yeah um, I'm gonna show you the gear later, but uh, yeah, just note you need to use range, and um, you're gonna Cerberus is expensive to do. You need a lot of prayer potions, you need uh, darts for the blowpipe, you need Zolar scales, uh, you need food, everything. But um, one thing you have to remember is that uh, it doesn't really matter because let's say you stay there for. Let's say you waste supplies for a couple hours, but then suddenly you get a primordial drop, which uh, isn't that rare actually. I I have seven primordials, and uh, then that's 25 mil. So then you actually just paid for the next fucking two or three weeks of Cerberus in one drop. Do you do you understand what I mean? So you don't. It doesn't really matter. It's the same with God Wars and everything. I have friends who tell me that they don't want to come God Wars because they don't. They, they use too much money on supplies, but you have to remember that one drop is gonna give you supplies for the next fucking month or something. So, yeah, but um, uh, the first thing uh, we need to do uh, is you have to move your house to Taverly, and uh, that's because we are gonna teleport to Taverly for the, um, for the house so we can use the pool to get all our stats and everything and then you have to teleport to Taverly also to to run to the Taverly cave so just move your house to Taverly that's the best thing to do and yeah this method I'm gonna show you uh, I have to tell you that uh, no one told me about it I was just doing a lot of Cerberus I was just doing Slayer and I figured this thing out myself and I'm gonna show you my secret in how you actually don't need a spectral spirit shield, spectral spirit shield, because a lot of people think that you need a spectral spirit shield to avoid the fucking um, hits and to avoid like getting hit because you lose the prayer points and everything. But uh, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna show you my secret, so I guess we'll just get on to it. All right. All right, so here we are. Uh, the first thing before starting uh, your Cerberus adventure. You have to move your house to Taverly, so just come here to Falador uh, or wherever you want to. You think it's easiest to change the house? I like Falador, but yeah, just talk to this guy. Uh, can you move my house? Where would you like Taverly? That cost you 5k. I already have it there, so I'm not gonna do it now. But just uh, pay 5k and move your house to Taverly, and uh, then you're pretty much uh, ready to go. Uh, so the next thing you do, you just uh, run up here to the bank, and uh, now I'm gonna show you my gear and my inventory setup. So I'm just gonna stand like this, and uh, yeah, um, the Robin hat. Um, you don't need the, all these expensive items, but you just use the best range range gear that you can use as a pure that you can afford. It doesn't really matter. It's not gonna make very big difference. Blowpipe, uh, you can use, uh, the best thing is to use either rune darts or dragon darts, of course it's most expensive with dragon darts, but rune darts works as well as good, so no problem with using that. Uh, so yeah, this is my gear, rain, uh, robin hood, 
who that Avas um, anguish blessing for the prayer point uh, prayer points prayer bonus toxic blowpipe this is also for the prayer bonus and then just the normal and archering eye if you have that that's pretty nice and uh, yeah the inventory setup is important you want to have um, teleport to houses as many as you want depends on how many kills you're gonna do you need one ranging potion you need uh, five prayer po potions just uh, use all all the same as mine trust me you don't need anything else just do exactly as I'm doing if you want to do it the best way so yeah one range of potion five uh, prayer po potions and the stamina you can just drink it now and you also drink an antidote because the reason why you do that is you're gonna run past some spiders and if you're not antidoted before running past them you're gonna get hit and that's you're gonna lose a lot of food until you go bank next time so just drink this drink this and go to the bank take out more food fill these three spots here with food these three and uh, then you're pretty much ready to go so yeah let's do this let's go kill Cerberus Right, so we're geared up and we're ready so uh, just teleport to your house and um, yeah let's see here you just go out and run straight south I bet everyone knows where the Tavali dungeon is and uh, next time you need to bank or if you need more HP and prayer points and everything you can just since you have the house entirely you can just teleport there and uh, use your rejuvenation pool uh, and then just walk out the door and go straight back to Cerberus so it's pretty easy that's why the house is entirely and uh, yeah we're just gonna run to the place you need 70 agility to pass this shortcut that I just passed you can also use summer pies to boost it if you're not 70 agility but uh, it's very important to, to at least be able to go through that because or else you have to run all the way around and that's gonna take ages so then it's probably not worth it uh, or you can be 80 plus a guilty or something and then you can go through this uh, the shortcut up here which is a lot faster but uh, yeah so uh, we're almost there you just have to go up here bet everyone have been here a couple times before when they were noobs so uh, in this room and uh, yeah here's the key master dude um, Cerber is gonna drop some stuff uh, that's called uh, key master teleports they will teleport you to this area right here where I am now so um, then you don't need to run all the way but you get three key master teleports in one drop and it's like one in 60 or one in 80 drop rate or something I don't know so uh, yeah now um, Cerberus are not usually so very crowded so we're gonna find a uh, find a world very soon I just like being world 28 but this one is someone's here so we just have to hop so um, just give me a second alright here's someone too yeah there we go alright before you go in um, range prey steel skin eagle eye and range pot then just as attack him straight away there we go all right uh, you just want to stand here and just uh, hit him until he's almost half HP then you're then you have to be careful I'm gonna show you why in just a second he's gonna spawn uh, three different type of souls one mage one melee one range from the from the thing up there the school there and um, they are gonna drown 30 prayer points every time they hit you even if it's a hit or not they drown your prayer and they can hit you pretty high if you are not praying but uh, I'm gonna show you my secret of uh, how I avoid that um, a lot of people all, almost everyone they use they think they have to use the Spectre Spirit Shield uh, but uh, it's not the case um, you don't need it at all you can just forget it you don't really need it I'm gonna show you my secret of how I do it so yeah just uh, pay attention right now you're gonna see it now watch 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 range spray mage spray drink and pray melee you see 
And um, the green one is ranged, the blue one is mage, and the red one is melee. So, um, uh, and yeah, uh, just, yeah, here, he spawns, um, he spawns some lava things. You have to avoid that, so once he makes that sound, that sound he just made, uh, you have to run to the so uh, side, you don't need to run far, just click like to place it to the side and you w will avoid the hits. But uh, yeah, the most important thing is not to get hit by the souls, so we're just gonna, um, I'm gonna show you again very soon, just watch now. Uh, they are gonna spawn when uh, Cerberus is uh, half HP, so um, we just have to wait for him to be half HP. And yeah, you can see we still have plenty of supplies left. It's not it's not that hard really, to be honest. But uh, you have to pay attention. All right, now now it's uh, happening. All right, just see now. The first one is melee, pray melee, range, drink, pray mage. You see that? You don't need a Spectre Spirit Shield, you just, I just showed you, this is perfect. Uh, and I discovered this thing my, myself, I, I don't think it's like a really big discovery or something, that's not what I'm trying to say, I'm just telling you that this is, um, this is the way to do it without the Spectre Spirit Shield, you can't really do it without that. So I'm gonna show you again, watch now. And now we have to move, melee prey, range prey, drink, prey mage. No hits at all. You see? Fucking perfect. Fucking pro. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And this is gonna be the second kill right here. Yeah, super restore drop. That's that's pretty nice. That means uh, we don't have to be as careful with the prayer points as we normally would. Then we can just pray, pray straight up. Alright. So remember, soon as he gets to half HP, he's gonna spawn the souls. Then you just need to uh, pay attention and pray right and make sure you click in time. It's gonna take uh, it's gonna take a couple uh, tries before uh, before you manage to stop failing and learn how to do it really. But um, it's not that hard. You're probably gonna fail a couple times, but as uh, soon as you know it, you're gonna see that. It's much easier than you're probably used to. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, make sure you always have 30, at least 32 plus prayer points because the um, the souls. The first one is gonna drain you 30 prayer points. Then the then you have to have a little prayer points for the second hit to avoid the hit, and then you have to drink the prayer point and pray for the next hit. Just see now. Alright, he's gonna drain me 30, there, we have 30 left, there, and drink and pray, yeah. I bet you, you know now how I do it, you just have to uh, get confident with it and yeah, then it's gonna be great. So uh, Cerberus is pretty profitable, uh, I, have the, I had 7 primordials here, and uh, yeah, this is the key master teleport that I was talking about. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. Um, now, for example, if you if you if you don't want to run all the way, you can just teleport straight to the key master and then just walk in here. But, uh, but yeah, I like I like saving them. So when I'm really lazy, I I can just teleport a lot of times. So I don't really need to run so much. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the last kill here right now. Um, this is gonna be the fourth kill this uh, this trip. You can see I have a couple supplies left. And normally, you can imagine that normally pures do one to two kills. This is gonna be my fourth, and uh, we're gonna go for the fifth. We're gonna see how that's how that's gonna work out. So yeah, he's almost half HP now. Just wait and see. And. Uh, yeah, if nothing happens, you're probably lucky. Yeah, I got probably lucky now. Yeah, this is pretty nice. So now you can see the souls didn't spawn. Um, that means I'm pretty lucky. I'm not gonna um, use any prayer points or food or anything. I'm just gonna fight him like this. But it's 
still gonna spawn the lavas, I think. Wait, no, it's not. It doesn't look like that. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, just move to the side. You see, I didn't get hit. And uh, yeah, 